home hope, Jerry Shank, the 18 year old from China, Zhang. Well, a star has been born, winning his first challenger title. No, I'm only 18, just starting in my career. It's the biggest win of this 18 year old's fledgling career. Hello and welcome to Beijing, where the China Open returns for the first time in four years. And what's a lineup we have in store this week? Jerry, a warm welcome to your hometown ATP 500 tournament. Coming back home, it's very exciting. <laughs> oh, he's a superstar. You know, like everybody's watching him, asking for an autograph, a photo and everything. Well, growing up, I've always wanted to come here and play the tournament. So now getting to play here, it's a dream come true. Hi, Kate. I'm ready for you. I love this one. The slate. All right, guys, what are we filming? So I was born here, I lived here for a long time, most of my life. Coming back home, it's very exciting. When they first announced the China Swing is back. I mean, I've been wanting to play that tournament since I turned professional. So that's been a, been a big goal for me and I'm glad that I did it this year. To go back to the place that you grow up in, it's, it's amazing, I think. I do remember coming here as a kid. I remember Jerry was about six years old when he first to the first time. He was very excited to see the ball on the ball. He saw many people, but he didn't know who they were. But he was very happy to see the ball on the ball. You know, watching some of the best players in the world. Rafa playing Di Wu, which is a Chinese player who I watched many times, super nice guy, I mean, such a big fan of him. Uh,有有这么有有这个想法让他试一下。他喜欢网球吗？呃，还是挺喜欢的。现在呃，已经这个，因为他刚开始嘛，刚开始入门，所以说呃，训练的时间不多，但是他还是挺喜欢这个运动
In, in Beijing with Jerry, it's been amazing. It's a big tournament for him, especially being at home. Uh, a lot of eyes you know, like on him. I think I like 60 a lot. I mean, not 56. <laughs> He has been practicing very well, uh, trying to enjoy the previous days of the match. And I think he has been doing great, so hopefully he can translate that to the, to the matches. Oh, he's a superstar, you know, like everybody's watching him, asking for an autograph, a photo and everything. And I think he's also enjoying that, feeling like, you know, like the warmth of the, of the people is amazing. Wow,我觉得他成长的非常快,然后适应这个职业的这个赛场的时间呢,我觉得相对有点短了一些,我觉得这非常好。虽然今年年初的时候不是太走运,因为在澳网之后他生病了,但是我想,所有的事情都有两
four games in a row to win the set, which was quite big for me with, uh, with the confidence as well and uh, getting the fans going. Second set was a little bit tougher. Both of us, you know, our energy level was getting low. It was at night. And then it started being a really tight match. We, we have a lot of rallies and unfortunately lost the set 5-7. I started feeling cramps in, in my leg at one hour in the third set, and uh, that was basically it, the match, and then I, I couldn't move. When I got the cramps at one all, I felt mad, you know, a little bit, because it's, it's been two, two, three weeks in a row, and uh, there, at, at that moment, I think at one all, I realized, you know, there's something wrong probably with my body. And then during the match, I was kind of thinking as well, doubting a little bit with how the how the situation is going because I was I'm playing good tennis the whole match, and uh, unfortunately that happened. Yes. The fans were still cheering. They had believed in me, but then it was you know already too late. I think with the cramps and everything. But uh, hats off to Yoshihito, played a great match. I think uh, he's also a great person. And I mean, the fans were just, just amazing. They, were, they had so much respect and uh, they were cheering for me the whole match. Sometimes you have doubts. I think that's also a good thing, you know, thinking about what you can do better, not just uh, stop believing in yourself. At that time, I've had a great family to believe in me and uh, I'm sure after Beijing, I'll recover again.